Now back on the cafe this morning is Martin Cooper, Managing Director of Harcourts Cooper Co. Welcome Martin. Thank you, good morning. So today uh, there's been a lot of a bit of press recently hasn't there about apartment and housing projects being cancelled so what are your top tips then for buying off a new build off plans? Well you've got to check the location you want to buy in uh, you've got to get out shopping, you've got to do your research, do your homework I'd advise you to get a good lawyer because there's a lot of you know, details in the contract for everyone reading that there's a lot to get through so you want to make sure your deposit's held best if it's held in the real estate company's trust account because you know that's a safe place for your money and it's also worthwhile to check out the developers, find out what they've developed, how well funded they are, and if you can, go and look at what they've built. Check out other people living in their other developments, find out if they've got a good product. To so go knock on the door and say, excuse me, can I come well, down in your apartment? Yeah. Well, if you're spending half a million bucks, maybe, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Yeah. And there are quite a few options around when it comes to apartments, isn't there? So it pays to have a good look around. Yeah, shop around. Some people, I'm amazed with some people, they spend more time deciding over a pair of shoes than, it's probably alright for me as a salesperson, but it's a big purchase, you yeah. should take it seriously. Oh yeah. Okay, what about when it comes to buying a section to build something new on, because that can be quite difficult. What, what advice could you give us for that? Well, again, locations are important. You want to look at where you want to live. You want to look at the amenities around where you want, what services and amenities are there. Also, you should look at the access and the contour. A flat site's far better because it's at less cost to build. You also want to check in the paperwork again, the covenants. What can you build there? What are the restrictions? What are the requirements? And it's also good to go back at different times. In fact, there's one app that I use a lot. It's the mm. Sun Seeker app, which you can go on site and you can hold your, hold your iPhone up. Oh, we've got some graphics of it. Yep. And you can look through the visual and it tells you where the sun will rise in the summer and the winter and check out the aspect. That is really, yes. really important. I guess you also have to look at what's, what could be built around you oh, as well. Oh, it's so important. Like, yeah. Check your view. I mean, if you're buying near a reserve, that's fantastic, but what's going to be built next door? Yeah. I mean, most disappointing thing, you get a beautiful vista and a view and then a three-storey house goes in front of you. That so would not be ideal. Not, not a happy time. No. <laughs> okay, and thank you for that tip on that app. That is fantastic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and it's called Sunseeker. 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 Worth getting. Okay, and we'll put it on our website too for you so you can have a look. What about investment properties? Yes, well, New Zealand is a great place for buying investment properties. There's no capital gains tax here, so your capital can grow as the property values increase. But I think if you're going to go into investment properties, again, do your homework. It's really good to get a team around you, get a good mortgage broker, check out your financial position, a good lawyer. Get a good accountant to advise you on the tax benefits and then good, get a good agent to go out and yeah. hunt for you to find good opportunities. And then of course another professional you need is a property manager. You become the property investor, get a property manager to manage the property for you. And the other thing is just set a goal, go and do it. In fact, all the properties are sold 10 years ago, I'll make an offer here. If anyone wants to sell them back for the price they paid for it, we will, we will <laughs> buy it straight back. Yeah, I bet you will, I bet yeah. you will. Nice yeah. work, okay, fantastic advice, Martin. Great to have you on the cafe, and we'll see you again next week. Have a good day.